Well, since uh, talking to the customer service yesterday and finding out that you can brown breads by spraying them or with water, I thought I'd go get some bread. My niece is cooking chicken in her solar oven today. We're doing this simply so we get familiar with the solar oven. We're practicing like we play. So uh, when the time comes that we need to possibly, you know, feed our families out of the solar oven, we already know the ins and outs. Um, so what we have here, I went and got three same uh, loaves of bread. Uh, these are, you know, I did it the easy way. Went down to my local grocery store and got the already made bread. Popped it open. It's fun to do, just like on the commercials. And I followed the directions. So this is actually a French bread tray that my wife has. So we're actually going to be cooking in the solar oven without any pots. Just this uh, in the solar oven. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I'm going to... Um, put uh, butter on this, oil on this, and water on that, and we'll be able to compare the difference uh, afterwards. Uh, this is a water bottle that uh, we keep in, in my bedroom under the counter. Just to uh, let you know why we have that, about 30 years ago my wife went to a Relief Society uh, meeting, which is a women's organization in the uh, Latter-day Saint Church, and she learned how to cut hair. Well, so she's been cutting our family hair for you know, 30, 25, 30 years. So you can imagine the uh, not hundreds, but thousands of dollars that she's saved our family of six by learning how to cut hair one evening um, at a Relief Society meeting. So and that's why we have a water bottle. So anyway, I will go ahead and uh, yeah, coat these with uh, the different items. This is um, butter, oil, and water, just to remind myself and uh, we'll see how it looks in the Dutch oven, uh, excuse me, in the um, um, solar oven. I don't know about any rule on this, but uh, I've already heated up the solar oven. It's at about 275. Uh, I think anywhere around 250 is what I like to put my food in at. And now we're just going to go ahead and put in the French bread. Hopefully you can see this, but there is starting to get some condensation in underneath the lid and that's what I wanted to show you is because because we added water and sprayed it on the bread and there's probably moisture in the bread you're going to get that condensation so what you need to do is you need to take uh, a uh, toothpick or a match or this is a skewer or something and uh, undo the latches up here maybe these uh, uh, the ones on the top and just kind of stick it under the edge uh, once you've unlatched it so that air can escape. Now some heat's going to escape too, but what we want to do is make sure that there's a, there's a vent for um, the humidity to go out. So uh, I'll probably have to make that a little bit, little bit bigger, but anyway, uh, just get a little uh, stone or something and just uh, make sure that that's lifted up just a tad and this, uh, this humidity will have a chance to leave. Okay, so what I did is I added my uh, skewer over here to the edge and it's kind of gone all the way down and it's got this corner lifted up. You can, uh, hopefully you can see all this uh, condensation here. And that's uh, not good because then um, the, the sunshine doesn't get in and doesn't heat up the, the oven. So. Don't want to. If you see that condensation, make sure you get a little vent there, so that it can, so that it can escape. Okay, I haven't shown you what the solar uh, oven looks like with the, the panels on it, so I thought I'd just add them here real quick. Uh, you're seeing a shadow on the bread because I've got it turned away from the sun, so there isn't a lot of glare. But uh, this is what the reflectors are, and it, it helps increase the temperature. The temperature is. Uh, be about 2 215 right now. So don't like really cooking with the with the panels, although they're good to have for winter. So I have to kind of keep a close eye on this so it doesn't get over 300 degrees because I don't want my food to burn. But anyway, this is what the solar panel looks like with the reflectors. Okay, the bread is done. I've taken the cover off and uh, we can see what we have here. Now I marked this before I put it in here so I'd remember. This is butter, this is uh, oil, and this is water. 
And it looks like to me, the water did the best of all. Now, I don't know if it's because it's in the back or because it's water. But the, the water it certainly has a better, nice, very, very, very nice brown on it. Now, I haven't tested this to see if it's, oh yeah, that's perfect. Man, I wish you guys could smell this. It is incredible. My niece is cooking some uh, solar oven chicken, and she doesn't know it, but I'm going to bring her some French bread to have with the chicken. This is great stuff, you guys. Get a solar oven and uh, start using it. It is awesome. Wow, I'm going to love this. Okay, I'm over here at my niece's, and she's been cooking chicken. Are they, does you have chicken in both pots? Oh boy, what, I smell something. Yeah, it smells really good. Oh wow, we got chicken and beans. Yep. Yeah, so what, do you, what did you put in here? All I put in was two cans of pinto beans mm -hmm. and four chicken breasts and a quarter cup of taco seasoning. And what, how are you gonna, you gonna use this? We shred it all up and make burritos out of it. They're really good. And I know it looks like there's a whole lot of water in there, but when you shred it all up, the water just kind of absorbs back into the chicken. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good. That looks, and it smells incredible. Do you have the same in both pots? I have nothing in the other pot. Oh, was that just to help I was I was going to divide it half and half to oh. see if it would cook better, but mm -hmm. then there was so little in the one pot that yeah. I just yeah. put it all in one pot. And so you got some inch, you got some uh, tortillas and some chips, and you're gonna feed how many people? Um, well, usually eight, but we regularly have people show up at dinner that aren't invited. <laughs> so those be eight plus. Eight, yeah. So since you've got all the tortillas, I'm not giving you the French bread. I'm taking that to the preparedness here tomorrow. Yeah, enjoy it. All right, good job on the uh, chicken, bean, burritos. burritos. Made in the solar oven. Okay, so we're ready to bring in dinner, and I just want to show you, even with the, with the, we've got half of this full. How easy it is for a little lightweight woman like my niece to carry this into the house. It doesn't weigh much. Well, she's moving. I can't even keep up with her. And uh, it is easy to move. It's not a big bulky uh, oven. And let me get the door. You got it. Okay. There she goes. There goes dinner.